Welcome to Thái Nguyên News, now today's headlines. Samsung Electronic Vietnam and ZZ Organization Korea signed the Memorandum of Implementing a Project Hope Village in Thái Nguyên Province. An agreement on choosing weak matter to solve the problem related to the main dam of Mui Cốc Lệch. Thái Nguyên tried to maintain the leading position in the country on online tax declaration and electronic tax payment. On July 4, the Taiwan People's Committee held a standing ceremony with Samsung Electronic Vietnam and Global Civic Sharing Organization ZCS to implement a project Hope Village in Taiwan Province for the period 2017-2019. Mr. Vu Hong Bak, chairman of the Provincial People's Committee, presided over the meeting. Attending the meeting was Mr. Sin Gon Hoan, General Director of Samsung Vietnam, and Mr. Choi Yeun Gyo, Chief of Representative of ZZ Organization of Korea in Vietnam. Speaking at the signing ceremony, Mr. Vu Hong Bak thanked and welcomed Samsung Electronics Vietnam and Global Civic Sharing Organization ZZ to implement Hope Village project, which has total capital of more than 300,000 USD in order to support poor and near poor households in five communes, Chang Sa Liên Minh in Võ Nha District, Thành Công, Phúc Tân and Vạn Phái in Phu Yên Thảo to borrow for feeding buffalo. The representative of Samsung said that this program is a continued activity of the project Hope Village in Kaabang Province, which has been implemented since 2016 with many good results. The company hopes to help Taiwan's people to stabilize and improve the quality of life. The representatives of ZZ committed to effectively implement the project through the sponsorship of Samsung and Express, the Great Start Taiwan Provincial People's Committee will create favorable conditions for specialists and volunteers of the organization to implement the project. Mm. The project is expected to be implemented from 2017 to 2019 to support eight communes in Vodna and Phu Yên Thảo of Taiwan to borrow for feeding buffalo. This year, the project is implemented in five communes, supporting 163 households. Next year, it will be implemented in three more communes. I hope that the project will bring many good results, helping poor households in Taiwan province to develop production and stabilize their lives. As the ceremony leaders of Taiwan Province, Samsung Company and Z State Organization signed a memorandum of implementing a project in the localities. On the same day, Mr. Duan Văn Tuấn, Vice Chairman of Taiwan Province of People's Committee, presided over a style workshop to give commands to solve problems related to the main dam of Nui Cốc Lệch. As a workshop, the representatives of the department and scientific experts contribute many ideas related to the results of accessing current status and solution. In particular, the participants focus on analyzing the reason and situation of water absorption occurs, calculating damage to the dam body, suggesting solution and technology apply to overcome the problem, investment procedures, capital source for a preparing, schedule, and selecting competent and experienced construction units. Based on the command at the workshops, the vice chairman emphasized that the consulting units had to receive fully comments on the absorbent situation of the dam from scientists with detailed assessment, the cause of the infiltration, and complete a feasible research report, and then send them to the provincial people committees before July the 6th. The Investor Irrigation Exploitation Limited Company needs soon to complete procedure to repair the affected dam before August the 30 to ensure the safety of dam as well as lake on serving the agriculture production. Let's have a look at the as news. On the occasion of 70th anniversary of Vietnam martyrs and wounded soldiers, the 27th of June lies, on the morning of June lies the third, Taiwan City Enterprise Association, in collaboration with Huang Hai Trace and Construction Limited Company, visited and presented gift to Vietnamese heroic mother Nguyễn Thị Tý in Khao Khánh Hamlet, Phúc Xuân Common, Taiwan City. The delegates consulted and encouraged Ms. Tý and her family's members, then gave the gifts worth 1 million Vietnam dong. 
Reasons list 140 students from Taiwan and Tianguang province were sent to Japan and Korea for studying by Taiwan International Joy Stock Company. During an induction ceremony at school, the company representative presented educational program and the promise during the next five years. Accordingly, the students will be educated to meet the demands of the intermediate levels in Japanese and Korean languages. Besides, they will have a chance to participate in training courses on professional skill and Japanese and Korean cultures. For the first six months of 2017, Taiwan Provincial People's Committee has agreed with 27 domestic projects to invest with a total capital of 2,973 billion yuan dong. Besides, five FDI projects are given investment certificates with a registered capital of 5.2 million USD. Three projects are industrial ones, two remaining ones are service projects. Administration reforms, especially online tax declaration and electronic tax payment, is a breakthrough in the modernization of Taiwan's tax section. In fact, for many years, the innovation have not only facilitated tax payers, improved the business environment, but also increased local budget revenue. After nearly four years of using online tax declarations and more than two years of implementing electronic tax payment, this policy has received the approvals of all enterprises and units in Taiwan province, in general and for in town in particular. To obtain that results, the provincial taxation department has promoted propaganda, dissemination and support to enterprises. <laughs> Paying it tax helps us to save time. The paper procedures is also sold in the fast way because it is done by commuter. When enterprises to come to declare a tax, officers must guide and give documentary to enterprises. Currently, with the synchronization of information, technology infrastructures, online tax declaration, and electronic tax payment is deployed in a favorable way in Taiwan. Up to now, 100% of enterprises in the province have declared and paid electronic taxes on the electronic portals of the tax office. The total number of e-tax payment vouchers is over 98% of the transaction vouchers. The rest of electronic tax payment is over 97% of the total of enterprising. The rest of electronic tax payment is over 97% of the total operating enterprises. In the digital process, there are many things to change and update frequently in order that declaration is synchronized from all government level to enterprises. We strengthen the administrative reform, network system, information technology system. Besides, we install synchronous network system connecting to the tax office to well implement online tax declaration. To achieve the goal of increasing budget revenue in 2017, Taiwan tax sector will continue to carry out administrative reform to support and facilitate enterprises and units to declare and pay electronic tax. In addition to the efforts of the tax sector, enterprises and units also need to closely coordinate to effectively implement the electronic tax declarations and payment. That's all we have for today. Thank you for joining. Goodbye and see you next time.